Now let's come back and see the oxidizing properties of uh, nitric acid with met non-metals. So with metals we have already shown you with zinc and copper. Let's come back. So oxidizing property, <coughs> oxidizing property of HNO3 with non-metals. So whenever I speak randomly, because uh, for your, in your NCRT they've given few uh, non-metals, I'll pick up those only. <coughs> it's going to uh, oxidize iodine to iodic acid. Iodic acid is this. So carbon to carbon dioxide, oxidizing so addition of oxygen. Sulfur to sulfuric acid. Phosphorus P4 to phosphoric acid. That's it. Simple remaining more or less same. Let's start. So whenever you're taking iodine, you're going to add HNO3, right? The, the concentrated part. Immediately I said iodine. Okay, let us write for all carbon plus HNO3, phosphorus plus HNO3. S8 plus HNO3. Okay. Let us write the common products, then write the leftover thing. For all the common products which are formed are NO2, NO2, NO2. The common product which is formed is water. Now, as I said, iodine to iodic acid, HIO3. Carbon to carbon dioxide, phosphorus to phosphoric acid, sulfur to sulfuric acid. That's it. Remaining all are same. Just you need to balance the reaction. So this is the oxidizing property of nitric acid with non-metals. Further, if you find any other non-metal, the procedure is the same. Oxidize it, the byproducts would be the same.